Hello my dear viewers, crocheters and crafters, welcome to my channel. I'm super excited today because I have so many wonderful things to share with you. There is going to be a yarn shop review. We are going to work on a new project, an elegant and very easy to crochet capelet. And we are also going to have a very generous giveaway. Let's start with an Etsy yarn shop review. Those of you who have been watching my videos for a while know that I myself have an Etsy shop, but the reality is such that our job as Etsy shop owners is not only to create our product, but constantly promote it, constantly try to advertise it and reach our potential customers. And that is not easy. It's not easy at all. And that's why I love collaborating with other Etsy shop owners to help them promote their shops. And today's collaboration is with Dylots Studio, which has a great variety of hand dyed yarns, as well as some other crochet, knitting and craft related products. Diane, the owner, kindly sent me three hanks of her gorgeous and unique Jacobi yarn. And I instantly had an idea of what I want to use it for, an elegant evening capelet. But let's talk about it a bit later and right now let's take a look at the Die Lots Studio Shop. As you can see this shop has excellent 5 star reviews and also this shop accepts returns, exchanges and cancellations which is great because not all shops do that. Diane kindly offered us a coupon code as well as a giveaway. If you use the coupon code OGA20 you will get 20% off on your purchase and the coupon code will be active until the end of this year. And now let's get to the giveaway which is a $40 credit for you to purchase whatever you want from the Die Lots Studio Etsy shop. The giveaway is open to anyone around the globe. And here's what you need to do to enter this giveaway. Visit the Die Lot Studio Etsy shop, browse through the products there, and then in the comments below, tell me which yarn or what other product you would like to buy if you were to win this giveaway. And I will announce a randomly chosen winner one week from now. And thank you so much to Diane for this opportunity, for sending me her beautiful yarn, for the coupon code and the giveaway. And and now let me show you my gorgeous capelet. I made it using two hanks of the Jacobi yarn that I received from Diane. And it's a fingering weight yarn, 75% superwash blue faced Lester wool and 25% nylon. And the total yardage for my capelet was about 920 yards. I made my capelet for myself in size small, but if you will be making it in a larger size, you will need more yarn. I still have one hank of this yarn left and I'm thinking of making either a pair of socks or a beanie. So you might see that project in the future videos. I love the way my capelet turned out. It looks very elegant. It looks great with a black dress and I just cannot wait for an opportunity, some special event to wear it. The pattern is super easy, totally suitable for beginners. All right, let's crochet a capelet now. I will be crocheting in two strands with a hook size H 5 millimeters. I will start with a chain that is long enough so that when I join it into a ring with a slip stitch, I can pull it over my head and wear on my shoulders. And the exact length of your chain is going to be different depending on your size, but make sure that the amount of your chains is even or divisible by two. Here is my chain, it is 20 inches long but yours might be different depending on your size. Now I'm going to join my chain into a ring using a slip stitch and I need to be very careful not to twist the chain. And now I'm ready to start my first row. The first row is going to be a row of V stitches. So I start with four chains And then into the same chain where I joined, I'm going to make a double crochet. So this is going to be my starting V stitch. Next, I skip one chain and I work a V stitch into the next one. So I make a double crochet. Next, I make one chain and into the same chain where I already made a double crochet, I make a second double crochet. Next, I skip one chain and into the next one, I work a double crochet, one chain 
and into the same chain I work my second double crochet. And that's how I continue crocheting all the way around. At the end of this round I join with a slip stitch into the third chain of this beginning chain 4. So that's my first round. Now for the next round I make a slip stitch into this chain 1 space. And my second round is also going to be a round of V stitches, but these V stitches will have two chains. So I start with five chains. One, two, three, four, five. And these five chains, three of them will count as first double crochet and two will count as chain two space. And now into the same chain one space, I make a double crochet. So that's my starting V stitch. Then I skip the next two double crochets and I will be working into this chain one space of the next V stitch. And over here I work a double crochet, then two chains and into the same space I work a second double crochet. Now again I'm working into the next chain one space. I work a double crochet two chains and into the same space I work a second double crochet and that's how I continue crocheting all the way around and at the end of the round I join with a slip stitch into the third chain of this beginning chain 5 and now I have two rounds finished and now the next two rounds will be worked the same as round 2 so I make a slip stitch into the next chain space then I start with 5 chains and a double crochet into the same chain space. So that's my V stitch. Now into the next chain 2 space I work a double crochet, 2 chains and a double crochet. And that's how I'm going to continue crocheting. So 2 more rounds of these V stitches. Now in the next round, round 5, we are going to start making shells. First slip stitch into the next chain 2 space, then 3 chains. These 3 chains count as first double crochet, then a double crochet into the same chain 2 space, 2 chains and 2 more double crochets worked into that same chain 2 space. And this is my first shell. Next I skip the next two double crochets and I will be working into the next chain two space. So over here I make two double crochets, one, two, then two chains and two more double crochets, one, two and that's my shell. Now again a shell into the next chain 2 space and that's how I will continue this round. And at the end of the round I join with a slip stitch into the third chain of the beginning chain 3. Now I'm going to continue crocheting rounds of these shells. So I make a slip stitch into the next double crochet and then a slip stitch into the chain 2 space. And now I make a beginning shell just the way I did in the previous round. So 3 chains, then a double crochet, then 2 chains, 1, 2, and 2 double crochets into that same chain 2 space. And now again a shell worked into the next shell. And I will continue crocheting rounds of shells. Here I crocheted 16 rounds of shells and now I will make the last round and in the last round my shells are gonna be slightly different because I want them to be a bit more pointy so that the last round of my capelet has a more finished look. And I start the way I did before, slip stitching to the next chain to space now three chains and now instead of making one more double crochet I will make two more double crochets 
So one and two. Instead of two chains, I will make three. One, two, three. And now into the same space, I make three double crochets. One, two, and three. So here I have a fuller shell and also it has this pointed tip. So then into the chain two space of the next shell, I work three double crochets, then three chains, and into the same space, three more double crochets. One, two, and three. So that's what these shells look like and I will make a round of shells like this. And at the end of the round I joined the way I did before and now I can fasten off and hide the yarn tail. And now as a final touch I will use these pearl beads and I will sew them on just using a regular sewing needle and black thread. That's going to be a very tedious work, but I think the final result is going to be worth it. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.